Part of people in the place to be what's going on. It's me. It's me. Now, see, I, in my haste to talk about the growing and go on zone of two drink minimum reactions, I forgot to tell you, party people, the contest for the Pink Ranger shirt is over. It is over, Jack. It is all over. Wave bye bye to the Pink Ranger. She is gone, Jack. She is gone. Uh, brand new party person. Brand new party person uh just uh clicked in chris walker brand new party person chris walker a little bit more local than korea uh he's in cali he uh went ahead and 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 jumped on it baby and just like that gone i told you supplies are limited to one and just like that gone chris welcome to the party uh and uh like i said before that is going in the mail tomorrow Tomorrow it'll be in the mail. Tomorrow it's only a day away. Now, continuing on this trip that we are on, as far as pro wrestling is concerned, you know something, son. Uh, when you're talking about, <clears throat> hold on, because <clears throat> throat's a little parched, so I have to open up a new bottle. Yeah, get on board. Hmm. I just melted. It's gonna be a man's martini, mantini. Uh, yeah, son, uh, I ain't got beer, because, you know, Surreal 469 don't like beer. What? I ain't, I ain't a beer drinker. What? <clears throat> Woo, there it goes. Okay. <clears throat> now, we're talking Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> Paul Heyman. <laughs> Stone Cold Podcast. WWE Network. Live. On the network. $9.99. You ain't got it? Then get it. You're a worker? Get it. You ain't a worker. So you get it. Because you can watch it. And you can study. You study other stuff. You study the female body. You study the back end of your eyelids. <laughs> study the network. <laughs> what? <laughs> study the network. <laughs> this comes <laughs> across my Facebook <laughs> from We Hate John Cena. <laughs> it's a Facebook page. <laughs> it's linked below. <laughs> Go ahead, click it. <laughs> it says here, <laughs> here's what Austin, <laughs> here's what Austin, <laughs> here's what Austin, <laughs> Thanks about John Cena. John Cena. John Cena. I can still see you, son. You're standing right there, moving your head in front of your face like a damn jackass. John Cena. Using the stunner. Judge for yourself, people. Exclamation point. Undisputed sarcasm. Well, here we go. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Paul Heyman, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Paul Heyman, John Cena, the shit's on, and the vid just starts right now. What do you do? Okay. Could we play role reversal here? Could I ask you the tough questions? You could ask me a question the whole time we was doing the podcast. Yeah, you can ask me a question. What do you think of John Cena springboard stunner? Oh, man. You know, he could have had a hell of a damn move with that thing, and all of a sudden just let everybody start kicking out of it, so it's like a wasted deal. I mean, it's like a DDT. Why do it? It ain't working, so now it's just a move that ain't worth a damn. Uh, the fact that he's doing it doesn't bother me at all. And everybody knows, man, I'm a vocal John Cena supporter. Man, guy works his ass off. You saw him out there in the ring tonight. When he goes out to the ring, there's electricity. Uh, as a move, really, with precision, the way those uh, ropes get oiled up, it's a high-risk maneuver. Timing, someone's going to get messed up by it, or maybe someone's going to blow a wheel out, or maybe he's going to throw out his lower back, but... It is what it is, but it's not effective. Next question. Well, there you go. Uh, <clears throat> I couldn't do the awesome voice anymore. I got, we got another awesome video to go and blow out my voice. Um, there you go. Uh, he said it could have been a big move. I agree with him. I agree with him. Uh, he mentioned the DDT, and I see where he was going with the DDT because the DDT has become... 
you know, a lot of people use mid mat, and it's funny because a DDT is a move that certain workers have used as their finish since Jake, but then other workers fucking use it mid match like it's bullshit. And uh, st the Stone Cold Stunner was like that for a while. When when Austin debuted the Stunner. Uh, you could see motherfuckers using it mid-match, multiple motherfuckers using a variation of it mid-match while Austin was on the undercard slash maybe mid-card. It wasn't really until Austin, uh, it wasn't really until his IC title run that WWE, that, that, that guy stopped using it in WWE F at the time. And I didn't, I don't think I ever, I don't think I saw it in many other places either. Uh, as Austin got more stroke, people stopped using it. Uh, look at, you know, and I, and I understand, you know, some people, there are reasons why some moves are used mid-match and some moves aren't. Uh, for instance, the, uh, Billy Gunn, badass Billy Gunn used to use jackhammer mid-match. Uh, Goldberg's finish used to use it mid-match. Was that a slap in the face of Goldberg? Uh, was it, or was it that Billy Gunn just saw it more as a mid-match move? Uh, I'll give you another example. Ev, when I was when I was on the on the Indies, everybody and their mother, every fucking indie mark and their goddamn mother used to use the spear and the fucking cold breaker slash uh, backstabber. Mid goddamn match. Every one of them. They didn't want to use it as their finish because they didn't want to be compared to Carlito slash Jericho slash, uh, who was using the spear? Edge. They didn't want to be compared to them. At least not when they use it as their finish. Meanwhile, these guys were having tights made up to look just like fucking Edge's. Uh, just like fucking Jericho's. Uh, and they were going ahead and using the moves anyway and using a mid match. In the in the middle of no no build up matches, in the middle of throwaway fuck matches, they didn't fucking mean anything. Like nothing with a story, nothing for a title. In the in the middle of or in the beginning of throwaway matches. Now that degrades the quality of the move a lot of times. When I think those guys are trying to elevate that point in the move, or they just didn't have proper psychology. And I don't think I think a lot of them. This didn't have proper psychology. Now, if you ask me, the spear should never be used as a finish. It's a shitty finish because it's not a knockout. It'll hurt. I'll buy it hurts, but it's not a knockout. It should be used as a mid-match move, maybe a setup move, but it should never be a fucking finish ever. Fuck you, Roman Reigns. It should never be a fucking finish. Um, but the code breaker and the code breaker slash lung blower and the backstabber, that shit should kill you. You should be done after that. Don't I should I. It fucking killed me every time I saw motherfuckers use that shit right after the fucking um, just be just before heat. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Really? You you're using that as your cutoff? You're using that as as the as to stop an outside? Are you fucking shitting me? Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! Same thing Austin was talking about with the DDT. A lot of people were using the DDT, and it got to a point where DDTs were real fucking throwaway moves. Like, they meant nothing for a long fucking time. Meanwhile, there will be guys on the same fucking show, maybe the next fucking match. You know, Raven might be the next fucking match out. Meanwhile, you were throwing four or five fucking DDTs out there for nothing. Sometimes in hardcore matches on fucking trash cans or tables or something that motherfuckers would kick out of at two or one, and then Raven had to come out there the next fucking match and make the crowd believe that his DDT was somehow more powerful than yours? Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. That's bullshit. That's shitty psychology uh, from your standpoint. Like, I don't give a fuck what it is. Know the other guy's moveset. You know what I'm saying? If other guys on the roster, excuse me, if there if there was a guy on the on the card who uses whatever as a fucking finish... I've done this before. I've been in the I've been in planning stages of matches or whatever and heard a move called out and been like, uh, so and so uses that as their finish. Or so may so we shouldn't use it mid match. Or we shouldn't use it at the beginning, or we shouldn't use it here or at all. We shouldn't use it at all. Like the only reason to use somebody else's finish is if your character is trying to send a message to that somebody else. 
That's how the fucking FU slash attitude adjustment came to be in the first place. In the first place. Because John Cena was starting a feud with Brock Lesnar, right? And instead of the instead of the instead of the F five, he did the F U. Right? Which is which you know is on his shoulders, F U. I, as a message to Brock Lesnar, that's how that move fucking developed. Why does Kane do the choke slam? Because he was sending a message to his brother, the Undertaker, and he was using the Tombstone too as a message. To, he was copying his moves to send a message to the Undertaker. Austin, Austin was good for this. Austin was good for stealing motherfuckers' moves to send messages to him. Austin is this sharpshooter? The fuck is sharpshooter? The Austin used a sharpshooter. As a direct fuck you to Bret Hart. As a direct fuck. Owen Hart used the sharpshooter as a direct fuck you to Bret Hart. That's the only way you should be using somebody else's finishes in your matches if they if, you, if you're planning a program with them and you're using that as a direct fuck you to them. Otherwise, you're just bullshit. So John Cena with the springboard stunner. A and the execution on it wasn't great because let's I, John Cena ain't a high flyer he ain't, a, he ain't a springboarder he's got a lot of muscle in them legs but you don't use it to jump really <laughs> you know what i mean so there's that and uh <clears throat> yeah so i agree with stone cozy boston in his assessment of uh the springboard stunner do you let me know boom against ghostbusters reboot suplex city bitch and peace out Suplex city, suplex city, bitch. Suplex city, suplex city, bitch. Suplex city, suplex city, bitch. Suplex city, suplex city, bitch.